Hi guys, welcome back to Spoon Feeding Profit. Um, so I had a day at home for the most part. I just went to the gym earlier, but um, the plan was to just get some work done at home today and do some listings. And yesterday I went out and I got this lot and the plan was to take some photos and up, um, take some measurements and upload that to my lister and um, my virtual assistant. And as I started doing the first 10, I thought I haven't made a video in a long time. So let me um, do one, right? I haven't done a haul video. So because of that, however, though, I, um, start, I had started cutting off the tags from a few of these. So the first 10 or 12, I think, I had started cutting off the tags. So um, some of them will be without tags, but I, I'll estimate what I, if I remember, I have the bag with the tags over there. I should have gotten that. But um, nevertheless, total spent was 161.34 on this lot and 31 pieces. So that works out to about um, $5.20 per piece right so you know individually that's kind of how i do it now i just kind of do the total divided by how many pieces but i'll try to estimate the first few pieces that i cut off the tags how much i paid for them or not estimate yeah try to remember what i paid for them so let's get into that so my receipt is here proof of purchase right 161.34 thrift store um yeah all right <laughs> it's been a while i feel like i'm out of sync with everything but so this was a pretty cool nike piece like i said common athletic brands i, I just look for certain pieces this is in nike sweats um it has this it's like a dark navy close to black but it's not fully black it had this it had these red pull strings here elastic waist it has the cotton lining inside um but the cool thing about this is it has this double pocket on the back this Vel velcro um closed open double pockets on the back and another thing that's pretty cool about it it's it's like a cargo style with the nike spell out on the side so pretty cool i've never seen one like this and i noticed the ones with the, the cotton lining sells pretty well um i'm gonna shoot for 39 on this it's in really good condition just in here you can tell you know it's not you can tell it's kind of worn but oh the outer part is really nice and it has this really if you look on the back it's like this kind of design coming out the whites come in there, come in there, right? So, yeah, I I want to say if I remember, I paid four ninety eight because I cut the tag off. Like I said, a few of these I I cut the tags off before I decided I want to make a video. I was about to list them, but then, yeah. So I want to say I paid four ninety eight for this one though, right? So thirty nine ninety nine or. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to price this at 45 and see what happens because certain Nike pieces you can get when it's unique, you can get certain some good prices with it. All right, next. This was another one I took the, the tag off before I decided I want to make a video. Um, this is a brand I only found a couple of months, but soft surroundings. And the best part is I bought it brand new with tags, right? And it's a big size, women's jeans. So this can go for around $49.59. I'm going to shoot for $59 because, you know, it's a big size. It's brand new. I paid $6.98. They had it for $12.98, and then they marked it down to $6.98. So that's what I paid for this. I remember that one. You know, soft surroundings. Check out that brand. Pretty good brand. Um, Next, we have, guys, I shared this before. It's not a talked about brand so much, but it's Jamie Sadak, I think it is. Jamie Sadak. Um, but yeah, it's like a cycling 
brand for the most part, as far as I know. But this doesn't look too cycling y, <laughs> right? It looks like a kind of, I don't know what it is, but it's just interesting. I paid $6.98 for this as well. The pieces that have all these embellishments and patterns to it from Jamie Sadoff sells best. I have sold Jamie Sadoff for over 40 before, um, just cycling t shirts. So I'm going to shoot for $49.59 on this. It's different. It's like a, I don't know, like a jacket kind of blouse kind of, but it has an interesting thing going on here with all these pockets and zippers. So $49.59, I paid $6.98 for this. I remember that. This here, I paid the most for this on this haul. Um, it's a Talbot women's jacket. Really nice. It's a, it has a darker tan than it's showing on the video, but gorgeous jacket. Um, it says original 149. Is that 149? Yeah. This is the piece I paid the most for. I paid $14.96 for this. And I'm going to shoot for $89 plus shipping. It might be a little bit long tail, but not that long. But around the, I could see this selling. It could sell now, but I could see it selling mainly around the like the fall, winter time. This will definitely go. It's a really nice color, beige, beige-ish tan color sells really well, and it's a great brand, Talbots. Like I said, retails at one forty nine. It says is the Grace Fit. So yeah, pretty cool score, worth fourteen ninety six. Um, here I have a Rafaela women's skirt nice you know just has a zipper to the side um it says it retails at 48 i'll probably ask for 30 plus shipping this is a size 12 so you can't go wrong with the bigger size um i want to say if memory serves me right that i paid about two not two sorry 398 for that but like i said i'm guessing the first set of these i'm gonna guess because I cut the tags off and I forgot. Well, not forgot, but I decided I want to make a video. Yeah, so here we go. This this here is White House Black Market. Um, great brand to resell. Man, this was a score. At least I thought that initially, right? Never worn. If you, the pockets, the, the stitching in the pockets haven't even been open yet really well. So, you know, it's something that's never really been worn. White House Black Market, big size, kind of like a navyish blue pinstripe women's belted wide leg. Wide leg sells amazing. Wide leg. And <laughs> so I was listing this. I was going to ask for $59.69 bucks plus shipping on this, right? And But what I noticed, there's a defect on the bottom that I missed. I paid $6.98 for this. It's on the back. It's like a cut. If you notice right there, it's like a cut. This first part is like a pull, and then here's like a cut. And yeah, but because it's still a color that's sought after, navy, because it's white leg, which usually sells amazing, and it's great brand, I'm still gonna make some money on this. Like I said, I paid $6.98. I think I'll still get at least $29.99 plus shipping on this. Initially, I'll probably shoot for 30 something. It's just one of those pieces that sells. And somebody can doctor that um that little cut right there and make it wearable. So here I have a J. Crew women's linen, linen silk, I think it is. Um give me one second, guys. Okay, so yeah, it's a linen silk. It's the video's not doing it any justice, really. There is a um it's a nice kind of it's a darker, close to mustard kind of color. It's like a little shiny. Um I think I get 28 for this, believe it or not. It's in excellent condition, plus like 499 shipping. I can see that. I want to say I paid like Three, two ninety eight. Um, 
Guys, you heard that? Cha-ching. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, I want to say I paid either $4.98 for that shorts, or is it one of those $6.98 one? I want to say I paid up for it too. Um, anyways, here is a brand new tag. Lauren Ralph Lauren has a tag right there. Um, this is a gorgeous floral skirt, right? It has a lining inside. Gorgeous kind of pleated floral skirt by a great brand. Um, I will shoot for $29.99 plus shipping with this. I paid, again, I'm going to estimate uh, average $4.98, I think. I cut the tags off, guys. Okay, so this was my favorite score. And it also, it's, like, I, I like finding great stuff. I just, every now and then I, I have this kind of battle in my head because when it's my size. So this, I know Athleta, I've always said Athleta is an outdoor brand, but maybe they're not just outdoor. I found this sweater. Look at this. Gorgeous. I would say it's look like it's been used twice, tops, right? Um, I'm seeing now it has a tiny pull right there. Nothing crazy. If you see that, it looks worse on the video than it actually is. It's just a thread kind of, but look at this. And it has on the prints, the pattern, the design, right? And this has been marked down surprisingly. I'm surprised nobody got it before. It was $9.98 initially, and then when I bought it, it was $4.98. And then I saw Athleta, and I was like, whoo! So I really believe I can get about 80 bucks, 70 bucks for this. Maybe even more, because it really looks like it's been worn once or twice. And But it's my size. It's a size small. Um, I tried it on. I loved it. <laughs> So we'll see. I haven't decided. I might keep it. I put it on and I got the uh I got an approved look from my husband. So it's really cute. You know, it's a really cute sweater. So I don't know. I'm leaning towards keeping it for myself. It's really heavy. Like it's gonna be a really warm sweater. But I know either way, if I sell it, I'm gonna sell it for at least 80. And that's what I do. If I have something that I want, but I'm gonna sell it. I put a high price on it. I said, if I'm going to sell it, I'm going to sell it for a lot. So, and the great thing with that too, is if I decide to keep it, which I'm probably sure I will do when I'm done with it, or I have too much of it, I can still sell that sweater, right? I can get, I believe at least 80 for that right now in the condition that it's in. All right, moving on. So we're about to go to the end of get to the end of the items that I cut the tags off before I decided I wanted to make a video. So this is a brand new with tag Lauren Ralph Lauren women's kind of sleeveless wrap front blouse. Now the thrift store put one of their stubs in here and kind of damaged the top a little bit, which makes me mad. But now I have to sell this as new with defects. Um, it says retail price is 79. Um, but because of the defects, I'll probably shoot for like 24, 26 plus like 499 shipping, but it's gorgeous. Um, it's a gorgeous blouse. I want to say I paid 498. Um, I found a few anterior loft new tag, um, sleeveless. This one is sequins. I think I'll do really good on this. Um, this particular one I paid $2.98, believe it or not. $6.59.50 for retails for. It's um, extra small. I'm not a fan of sequins, really, but I know sequins sells, right? So, yeah, I might shoot for $35. I know that's a lot, but... 35 39 because of the sequence, right? So yeah, I paid, I think, 198 or 298 for that. I know that this section was 198 section for the most part. This is another antler loft. Um, 
you know, just cute top. This one was one ninety eight for sure. Um, it's like a peachish beige. Pretty cool flip. Um, this here is a something I love to find. Chico's brand new at Tag, and it's a great color. It's like a navy. So brand new at Tag Chico's. I paid a whopping $9.98 for this. Um, I didn't want to risk leaving it because this thrift store, they mark down pretty frequently. But you don't want to leave certain things, right? Because I can get $49 for this. Uh, um, yeah, it's a Chico's. It says Navy. So yeah, I did pay $9.98 for this. I remember that one. Um, I'm going to shoot for $49 plus shipping. It retails at $89. So I'll probably shoot a 49, $49.55 plus shipping. I've gotten that before for Chico's. So I think we came to the end of the items that I cut the tags off. So we're going to go into the rest that still have a tag on them. Um, so here we have a halogen, which I've been bragging about lately. It moves pretty well. Um, I paid $4.98 for that one. It's a gorgeous kind of like close to, it's not a rose pink. I don't know. It's an interesting pink, but it's like a cardigan. Excellent condition or really good condition, I guess. But for $4.98, I can flip this for $29 easy. $25, $29 plus shipping easy, right? Here I have a... It's a great brand. I haven't found a one in decent condition in a while. Helly Hansen. Um, outdoors, again, you'll find a lot of skiing gears, winter gears, jackets, stuff like that with this brand. I've sold the old Helly Hansen. Um, I've sold one for like 80 something dollars before, but it depends on which one, right? That one was more heavy duty. But it was in really bad condition and the person still the buyer still paid 80 something dollars for it so here i have one it's not as heavy duty but it's still really good um it has some features to it and that always matters i can see this one plus shipping it's like a, this one's like a sweat but um it's nylon which is awesome right so i can see at least at least 39 plus shipping even i can push it for 49 it might take a little bit longer but it will sell it's one of those brands right that sells i paid 4.98 for that all right um this was a score so i found this orvis um men's sweater it's a Pretty big size, I think. It's an extra large. Um, Orvis is a fishing kind of fishing gear type of brand outdoors, and I was lucky to get it on Markdown. It was nine ninety eight originally, and I paid four ninety eight. Um, brand new with tags. This is the best part, right? Um, it does not have the retail price on here, but. I've sold Orvis before. I think I could get at least 60, a minimum of 60. In the heart of winter, probably even 70, right, on this sweater. So that was a pretty good score. Here I have, hey, Melly Lynn. <laughs> Here I have an Ann Taylor Loft. This is new without tags, women's um, Marissa pants. Ann Taylor Loft, Marissa style pants. Knew it out tag. There's no question about this. Um, and it was marked down to 198. Believe that. So this is an easy um, 29 plus shipping because it looks slim fit. I'm gonna. It looks like it's a slim fit. Like I said, it's new. All right. So that was a good score. Here, I picked this up because cargo sells. Um, I picked this up because it's it's medium heavy duty. It's not the best brand. It's a decent brand. It's LL Bean. 
right? But it's a kind of a cargo, medium heavy, can go wrong with this, outdoor <laughs> pants, um, or even kind of like a work pants. It's just a little different looking, right? This particular one. And it's like a brown, like a faded brown. It's not faded, it's just the color of it. So what did I pay? A whopping 198. Can't go wrong with this at all. I could see this probably going for like 29 plus shipping. Because of the brand, I'm not gonna ask too much on that. Um, here I have baby fat cells, especially certain pieces like this. I'll ask for $19.99 and probably $4.99 shipping and move it really fast. But it's a bigger, it's like I don't want to say mint, but if it's worn, it's probably been worn like once or twice. Um, but it's a huge size, baby fat, women's kind of blouse. And I paid $198. So I could not pass that up, right? Baby fat stuff, certain pieces move. But when you get it for $198, you just got to buy it. One of the, my favorite things to find is Nautica competition not just nautica but nautica competition so this switch the last one i bought i sold for 39.99 plus shipping um this was 4.98 it's like a it's really outdoorsy it has these two pockets it has the nautica competition inside spill out is always a good thing right um so the shorts 4.98 I'll probably ask the same, like um, $39.99 plus shipping. This I this is an interesting brand. I researched on the spot yesterday, and it seems to be, you know, certain pieces sell really well. It's Hudson, Hudson Outerwear. You can see outerwear written in like small pieces. So it says on this, it says retail at $60. These um they're interesting. I don't know exactly what they are for. I paid $6.98 for this. It was marked down. $6.98. Um, I want to say I could get about $40 for this. Based on what I've been seeing, even though it has this little minor kind of tear right there. So we'll see. But from what I've been from what I saw yesterday, I'm like, I could get $40 for this. So that was, we'll see how that does. Um brand new. I, again, I don't really pick up sporting pieces like athletic pieces, except if it's um, a rare or unique piece. This, I don't know if it's rare or unique. It's Adidas. Um, it's a 2XL. I don't know if you can see that right there. Um, it's a huge brand new with tag. I couldn't pass it for 198 so <laughs> I got it. Right, I don't know what it's gonna sell for. It says, let me see. It doesn't say the price on here, but yeah, it's an uh, Adidas jersey, two XL, large size, can't go wrong. Um, this is a really nice. It looks gently worn. Chico's so perfect leggings. Chico's so perfect le leggings. Um, it's not new. But it looks excellent. I think this will do well. Um, probably like 29 bucks plus shipping. I'll ask. Again, 198. Right? Here I have this was a score. ACG stuff sells really well. That's one Nike item I pick up almost every time I see it. It has to be in terrible condition for me not to pick it up. Um Hey guys, I see I have two watchers. You guys give me a like if you're enjoying the video. Definitely helps the channel. Um, yeah, so ACG, this is one Nike thing that always sells, right? Just price it right. People are into ACG, whether it's sneakers, whether it's, um, man, I got crazy prices for ACG sneakers when I see them. I don't see them that often in great condition, but Basic ACG pieces I asked for 30, you know, 35. Sweaters and stuff, I go into the 50s and the 60s. This is really nice and it looks gently worn. So 
look at this. I paid $198 for that because, like I said, you want to shop winter stuff in the summertime for the most part, and you'll get great prices. They'll mark it down pretty frequently for you. So um, there you go. It's a hoodie. It has like this Sherpa lining on the inside here. Pretty warm, pretty warm. So it's a size large. It's more than likely it's women's. One ninety eight. Um, we'll see. I'll probably shoot for forty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Is what I'll list this for. Maybe fifty nine, but not higher than that. Um, not your daughter's jeans sells really well. I sell these best when I'm when they're brand new with tag. I'll be honest with that. But as long as I price them fairly good and it's a it's in good condition and it's uh kind of unique it sells the reason i got this i was gonna pass it up initially even though it was 298 um but i find the little things that set it apart helps and if you notice the bottom has this kind of design right there on both sides so i could not pass it up so for 298 i think i will shoot for 25 plus shipping on this um we're about to get to the bottom Let's see what i have here <clears throat> okay so polo i love finding polo sport polo jeans company <clears throat> polo rlx i love finding that those lines of polo of course the double r um but this is a polo sport even though it's just a swim shorts, right? As long as it's polo sport, I find it sells really well. You have the little pony right there. My voice is going, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's like excellent, 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 excellent condition. Nothing wrong with this thing at all. Um, I think I'll shoot for 29. 29 plus 499 shipping. I know it's ambitious, but I've gotten that before, and not that long ago, I've gotten that. This is a, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, Gap, <clears throat> um, I want to say, I don't know, I'll figure it out if it's men's or women's, but it's never been worn. Doesn't have the tag, though. Really nice Gap jeans. Um. It's long, it's for somebody that's really tall. Um, it might be women's. And I paid a whopping $2.98 for it. So I'm pretty sure I'll get um, 35 or 29. Give me one second, let me get some water. My voice is going. <coughs> All right, yeah. So I can see about 20, 29 plus or 35, maybe even 39 in the winter, and I can get that. Um, certain gap pieces sell as well. This is a kind of a, it's new, but it's kind of, it has that worn in kind of feel to it, kind of look. So yeah, for, two to, for 298, I'll shoot for 29, probably move it faster. Here, guys, was this. Calvin Klein, really nice women's jacket. It's like mint condition, really. And I could not pass it up because I don't pick up Calvin Klein as much anymore. It's one of those brands, except if it's vintage or it's just unique. But yeah, for $2.98, I could not pass it, right? We'll see. Probably, I'm going to shoot for $29 plus shipping. Here, you go, boss. Could not pass it up. Um, Melly Lynn said, I was, let me see what you say. I was also the
Perfect. Exactly. You have to go. It's, it's, you know, it's like I have friends who purchase their kids clothing on, um, they do it off season, which is so smart. So it's kind of like the same thing, you know, um, some good, some, some thrift stores still price winter stuff high, but what I noticed the ones who do that, they mark down at a faster pace. Um, but for the most part, most thrift stores in the summer, they'll price winter stuff really low, right? So that's awesome, Madeline. Glad you found some good stuff. I haven't been thrifting in over a week, so it was overdue for me. <laughs> yeah, so, and I went to just one store. So this is a Yugo Boss. <clears throat> Yugo Boss is a great brand. Certain pieces don't sell as well as they used to. But this one, it's not, it's like a men's, <clears throat> A men's zip front jacket with the Hugo Boss logo on the front. I should have zipped this up before, but um, it's a huge size. It's a size. I was three XL. So, and I got it for two ninety eight. I could not pass it up, even though certain Hugo Boss pieces don't sell well. I've never sold a sweater like this before, so it's gonna. I'll see. I'm pretty sure I'll do good with it. And it's not, it does show some signs of wash to it. I don't know if you can see that. Like a slight fraying like, but it'll do good. For that price, I can't go wrong with that. Um, and here I have this gorgeous Aunt J. Crew. It's J. Crew. It's like a peach. The color is a bit darker than seen. On, look at that. The sleeve, the, the shoulder has this nice, button design right there it's frill it's just a gorgeous piece like the like i said it's it's brighter than it looks in the video so really cute 498 spent honestly i was gonna try this on for myself so and then we'll see so i'm putting that to the side if i do sell it though i'll shoot for 29 because it's a certain pieces for j crew sells really well that kind of stuff because of the color it's like a neutral color and it has the frills to it. I can ask for 29 plus shipping and I'll get it, right? This was a, another Ann Taylor Loft half tag. <laughs> it's new, Kate Fit. I've never found a Kate Fit before, so that's interesting. Um, just 3.98, right? 3.98 and this thrift store, I haven't even, I didn't even get a chance to finish it. This thrift store is like the best thrift store ever. And it's close by, so I have no complaints when it comes to clothing. <clears throat> even though the new manager marks stuff up crazy, you still have some great deals. Um, this is a black women's pants. It's like a dress work pants. I probably asked for 29 plus shipping. Move that. And here is a... Last but not least for that thrift store haul is, um, you know, I didn't even check it up or anything, but I want to say I've heard, <coughs> excuse me, um, Nicole State talk about this brand. I want to say it was her that I heard it from. It's called Johnny Was. Johnny Was. Um, first time finding it, I think, or maybe I found it once before. Can't remember. But it's just a different looking piece. And I figure for $3.98, I will buy it and do the research. But I wanna say something that sells, if I remember correctly. So guys, that was it for my 161 haul. However, I do wanna show you one more thing. Um, <clears throat> I was in the store, I was in TJ Maxx yesterday um, to get, I wanted to gift my friend a water bottle. It's something she's been meaning to buy for herself forever and she hasn't gotten around to it. So I said, let me go get her a water bottle. And I wanted to, ch I had to check something for my husband. And of course I gravitated towards the clearance or, and I started looking, but um, good to know, Madeline, huh? That's good. I might've heard it from Nicole State. I wanna say she was the one that first talked about that brand. That's awesome. Good to know. <laughs> but yeah, so I was in, um. TJ Maxx, and I could not pass this up. So yeah, of course, retail arbitrage, you pay more. <coughs> but, so this is a Peter Miller. 
it's a golf brand as far as I know sells really well on eBay I've sold used pieces for 59 it depends on the piece not everything sells for that but these pants are like 248 a piece I saw one seller selling one for like 199 I paid 40 bucks I use my tax exempt certificate so I do not pay taxes on these so I got two of these at $40 a piece the good thing is though one of the reasons I got it too because they had more but one of the reasons I got this was they were both size 40 right so I'm gonna allow these two together and do it like a quick flip two for the price of one so I paid a total of $80 or $79 <clears throat> 98 for the two I'm gonna ask for like two for the price of one which is like 250 for the lot so I'll make a quick 100 120 profit like I said I did see somebody selling one for 199 I can go that route and wait longer but it's I noticed when it comes to retail arbitrage when I spend a lot more I want to have a quicker flip right so We'll see. I'll either do two fifty or two ninety nine for the lot of two. This is the other one. So eighty spent on these yesterday. I spent a total of TJ Max yesterday, one twenty three ninety seven. Eighty was on that. I got another. The thrift store had a ton of Peter Miller stuff yesterday. Some were just too high though for me to buy to resell. This is another one. It's a Peter Miller Mountain side men's pants um i think i'll shoot for between 89 and 99 for this um i paid 30 bucks for this so probably make like 40 bucks 50 dollars on this so those were some good scores and i think last but not least my favorite brand one of my favorite brands to find i found oh they had a ton of athletic stuff as well but some pieces I wasn't interested in. I know that sounds weird. They had a lot of like underwears. And when I checked the sales for the Atleta underwears on eBay, I didn't see like really high margins. So I left them. I still think I could have made some money on those. But I'm going to go back soon. But yeah, I paid. This was, you know, I sold Atleta, ta um, Atleta tops for good money before used. So I paid $14.99 for this, and it's really cute. It has the little elastic side. Um, it says it retails for $69. So say I paid about $15. If I want to sell this for like, just say $50 plus shipping, I should make a I should make $30 bucks, I think, on this. If I do my math right, or $25, $30. But it's gonna sell fast. That's the thing. Out leather is gonna sell so fast, and it's new with tag. I could even try to shoot for exactly what it says on the tag, sixty nine dollars, and somebody will pick it up. We'll see. When I get to listing it, I'll decide what I'll do. But um, that's it, Melanin. Thank you for joining me. I know somebody else was on, but um, yeah. So that was my haul. Keep picking. Keep going out there. Keep searching, and you'll find stuff. All right. Until next time, see ya.